viewers and subscribers and welcome back again you have heard me say it on this platform that there is no way this tenable government will be prosecuting mfla without dragging Bugari to the prosecution desk you know why they will not do that because they are not actually ready to fight corruption now professor odin kalo buttressed this point and so the question i've got because uh, the cbn governor by himself does not grant with ways and means it's got to be signed off on by the sovereign uh, how did we get to a situation where we ran up uh we basically tore up the cbn act under the green pen of the president and nothing is being done so mfla is being prosecuted and i believe he should be prosecuted uh but what is what about buhari and his responsibility you think president buhari should be prosecuted oh absolutely yes for what for, for what reason for mfla what could not have run up could not have torn up the cbn act without buhari say so could he so would you say that it would be unfair to be prosecuting mfla without prosecuting buhari all i am saying is buhari has to be prosecuted if we are serious about this situation the cbn act is very clear you cannot run up ways and means beyond the five percent threshold relative to the previous year's budget okay now basically if you transferred uh it, it, look the uh, at the moment strictly speaking the cbn if you simply transferred the ways and means liability onto the liability side of the cbn's uh, books the cbn will be liquidated because the ways and means liability is higher than the cbn's supposed capital base however you compute that how did we get to that that is it because if i talk him you will say now this guy with the day for 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 inside car he to be doing him you will just be talking rubbish raising his voice you've had it from a professor i don't need to be a professor to know that to know that mfl did not act on his own and buhari is the chief architect of the of the what will i call it this one is bigger than looting this one is bigger than monumental corruption in fact, they are the the impunity personified. They did things with regardless to the law. And yet, you are tearing MFL apart up and down. But the man, the main man, you left him behind. You left him behind. Buhari should be in jail if it were to be in a same climb. Because what those people committed, hi, hey, it will take years, hundreds of years to start ratifying it. If you have sincere government, then there could be hope that it will be hastened up. But this one, they are not interested. If Tinubu get guts, if Tinubu get up course under his two legs, let him drag Buhari out. Then all hair will be let loose. You know why? Because they knew what they did during the election. They knew they never won the election. They are not the fact they can't breeze will go breeze. No go only open their nash, you go open their intestine joint. But they are not. So we don't expect anything to come out of that rubbish they are doing with a mere fella. They are just deceiving themselves and distracting Nigerians, posing like they are fighting corruption. Why they are corruption personified. Don't expect anything different. And it is even still happening. What happened in Buhari's time is still happening today. So don't get it twisted. Nigerians, I'm just here to give you a stop on what is happening. What's your take on it? Drop it on the comment section. And if you believe Buhari should be dragged and prosecuted, please help me share this video. Let Nigerian voice be heard. Because those people, what did they commit? <laughs> Against you, you're not gonna you're not gonna understand. But Nigeria is still happening to every one of us. What's your take on it? Drop it on the comment section. Help me share this. Don't forget to like. Like this video so that our videos will keep pushing. So that YouTube will keep pushing it to Nigerians across board. So that they will know what is happening. Because this analysis, <laughs> you cannot be getting it anywhere. Bye-bye <laughs> for now, my people. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you're just the first time viewer.